With the help of strong conversation actions, European bison have been brought back from the brink of extension through reintroductions of wild and semi-wild living populations across Europe. However, only in a few places the largest terrestrial mammal of the continent is able to roam in self-sustainable populations. In sites where bison numbers can't regulate naturally, management actions committed to maintaining the number of animals according to the carrying capacity of the area and to keep a good genetic variability of bison populations might be needed. In 2007, European bison roam in the dunes of Kraansvlak a nature core area that belongs to the National Park Zuid Kennemerland in the Netherlands. The herd has grown naturally since 2009, with no supplementary feeding, living out of the sources that the area offers throughout the seasons. This has given the project team the chance to study the role of European bison in the Dutch dunes under natural conditions. In 2015, PWN, project partner and nature manager of the National Park, took the initiative to design and build a an handling facility specially adapted to handle European bison, with the least stress possible for the animals. As the area has serious limitations to drive through due to habitat protections and sandy dune soil, the handling facility was built in an area adjacent in the bison terrain where the herd had no access before, but well accessible for all kinds of vehicles. The structure design was meant to be able to hold a herd of European bison, select specific individuals out of the group, apply veterinarian treatments, for instance those needed before or after bison translocations, keep animals in quarantine periods and load or unload animals avoiding tranquilizing them when possible. The facility consists of several parts connected with each other with a system of allays, pens and slide and turning gates. The main parts are the enclosure, the crowd pens, the single fine shut, the individual pens and the loading ramp. To be able to get the herd in the handling facility, a luring period must take place. During this period, the animals will get used to go in and out of the enclosure with a positive experience attached to it. The gates to the enclosure will remain open in this period. Luring and catching actions must take place during the months when the natural food resource is scarce in nature. When the day arrives, the gate that gives access to the enclosure will be closed after the last animal and the selection of the targeted animals will start. The non-selected animals will be released as soon as possible, preferably in groups instead of alone. The enclosure is used by the animals to go in and out of the handling facility as it is connected directly with the bison area. This space is also meant to hold a limited number of animals for short periods of time if needed. From the enclosure, the animals will be driven into the crowd pens as quietly as possible, with the help of a heavy vehicle or tractor. The first split into subgroups will take place here. From this point onwards, human intervention will be done from catwalks and when possible out of the animal's view for safety reasons and to keep the stress level of bison as low as possible during the handling. It is especially important to keep mums and calves together as long as possible. This will decrease stress and facilitate their movement. From the crowd pen, Bison will walk individually into the single file chat, which will allow us to decide what needs to be done with a specific individual. A 
with the animals ready to be transported, it will be driven to the loading ramp, where the truck will be attached. The facility has been designed taking into account different aspects of bison behavior. Most of the times, small movements by the handlers or operators will make the animals move forward towards the desired location. If the animal has to be selected or treated, it will be driven into one of the individual pens. If the individual needs any veterinarian care, the pens are prepared to tranquilize bison from the catwalk and give enough room for treatments to be carried out. Needed actions will take place on the tranquilized bison as quiet and quickly as possible. Often, veterinarian treatments must take place shortly before transport. If this is the case, a treatment moment can be also used to load the tranquilized animal in the truck. The animals will be woken up before the truck departs to the realized destination. It's important to keep in mind that successful handling actions and bison translocations require a well-coordinated and trained team of people, giving preference to the welfare of the animals overall. <laughs>